Hey y'all, what's going on? Your boy Time Rocker back. Today is a crazy ass day. There's so much happening. My mind is a little exploding, especially if you guys got a chance to watch that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, new trailer, State of Play, that whole event thing. It was like 15 minutes. God, that game looks crazy. But there's some crazy stuff that I saw in it that's making me now start to think that Glenn might be in Rebirth, which is nuts, considering he's originally only from this game, and now if he might actually have a tie-in in some way to the new game for Rebirth? What? How do you, how do, you do anything with that? That's nuts. So, uh, my idea comes from the fact that we've seen this character multiple times throughout the game, uh, or sorry, sorry throughout the, the different trailers, I think twice now? Uh, yeah, two, two times now we've seen him. I'm sorry, three times we've seen him. <laughs> Um, a couple different places. So I kind of want to go over uh, with what I think might be the case of where he's at. So it's a it's a little nuts, a little crazy. Um, but I'll, I'll, I will show you guys here. But first off, the most important thing is there is a collab coming out, which I wasn't expecting. I mean, I sort of expected it, but how do you collab with yourself? That's a little weird, right? For Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. So they're doing a collab with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and it's coming out on uh, February 15th. So the day after... Valentine's Day, so we're only about a week and a half out, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what that's going to be, I have no idea, but save your gems, boys. If you haven't been doing them, you guys just saw how the collabs were last time. Those weapons were good. Those weapons were good. So we'll see how this collab goes. I don't know what it's entailed, but there is a trailer for it, so I'll show it off to you guys here. So take a look at it if you haven't seen it already. Yeah, but it's uh, looking looking interesting. I mean, the the trailer looks like it's just from the demo. So I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped, man. Pretty hyped. That's it. That's there's not much to the trailer. <laughs> pretty pretty bare bones. But still kind of cool nonetheless, right? So there's a crossover coming soon, but the, yeah, there it is. There's your date. So somehow they're crossing over with the game that's already uh, they're crossing over 7 with 7. So is it maybe Final Fantasy 14? I don't know. 14R. So I kind of want to go over now this whole thing with Glenn, right? So if you guys remember, if you're, if you're a brand new player, you're probably going to remember a bit more. But if you're a veteran, you may not remember as well. At the very, very, very beginning of this game, when you first play First Soldier... Uh, there is a cutscene where Glenn, or we don't really know it's Glenn, but it's pretty much assumed it's Glenn, is fighting an older adult Sephiroth. And it's kind of like, this is strange, right? And it's in the future, it's not young Sephiroth. When is this? Where is it from? Why is he fighting Sephiroth? Nobody knows. However, there has been some interesting things from the trailers we've seen where there's a very similar hooded man with a goatee, kind of a scruff, like a beard right here, right? And it's like, hmm, who is this guy? Right? I was originally I was thinking there's no way it's Glenn. It's probably a guy named Roche, right? Because he also has a goatee. He's a he's an ex-soldier or he's a sold member of soldier. Kind of crazy dude, super badass. But I thought maybe he's dead, maybe we won't see him again. So I thought maybe that was him, right? In the trailers that we saw. But then today in the trailer we saw, we see Roche, who I'm thinking, okay, that's Roche. And Roche looks exactly the same. And then you also see this hooded guy who ends up meeting up with Rufus. And I'll show you guys out here in a little bit. And he's been shown in the trailer, in, in trailers, two other times as some, like, some hooded figure. And we don't know who he is. But now I'm like, okay, this, I don't know who else it is going to be but Glenn. Like, I, I have no idea who else it could possibly be, right? So, I'm going to go here. I'm going to, we're going to just re-watch that opening scene again if you guys haven't seen it in a while. This way you can kind of be refreshed on it. But if you've been playing the game long enough, you're going to know, yeah, that's clearly Glenn, right? So, we're just going to run this through. It's it's pretty nuts, man. That uh, that Glenn may end up being in, being rebirth. Kind of crazy. So this is like I don't know. We don't really know where this is. I think it's supposed to be like Wu Tai or something, right? But he's killing like he's killing looks like a a behemoth of sorts, right? Because it sure, sure as heck doesn't look like a Gallon Balor or a Balor of any kind, right? Or just some kind of beastie looking things. Right, that looks like a be that's definitely a behemoth. Right, see, and then there's adult Sephiroth, full just Sephiroth as we regularly know him, right? 
And we don't know the time period of when this is either, right? The interesting part is it's Genesis, which means... I'm going to pause here. Which means the fact that he's calling Genesis means it's probably sometime around the Wu-Tai War that this is happening, right? So we don't know why he's here but we do know that that Sephiroth was like the savior of like the, the savior of Shinra he basically because because of him we won the, the Shinra we yeah. uh Shinra won the Wutai war essentially um and so it's kind of interesting so there's the so interesting thing to note here you don't think about before there's a dog barking remember as we go further in this story through the game I don't remember the character's name to be honest at this point but it's a character we meet and he has a dog so it's a little interesting that there's a dog barking and this is years later. So it makes me wonder if in the stories that we're going to have coming up here, especially soon, because there's one coming out on Thursday for, for First Soldier, if somehow Glenn is going to acquire that guy's dog, right? And he becomes his companion. I don't know. But it's interesting that there's dogs barking, but this is Glenn right here, right? That's Glenn. No mistaking it. He's got the goatee. He's got the big ass axe, right? Glenn. Oh. You can even see some of his blonde hair. Really cool cutscene regardless. Same hooded outfit, right? If you look here, he's got the belts right here that go across his across his uh, neck. So kind of a little interesting thing to note. A lot of the other guys from that that you see in the game, like if they're like the, the Sephiroth clones, um, those guys don't have that belt aspect as much. Not like not like he does. So uh, this could be that Glenn is joining or has joined Wu Tai to try to fight Sephiroth in some way. See, so there you go. <laughs> So I think the two scenes there, I don't think they actually have anything to do with each other. I think one is a future scene and the other one is Glenn talking about something, right? Because right now Glenn thinks he's a leader. Now I don't know... Um, I don't know if that means that they're aware Sephiroth is going to be joining them, but as far as I know, I don't think they do at this point, right? So it's kind of an interesting thing here that Glenn is over here fighting um, Sephiroth. We don't know why, other than that he considers Sephiroth a bad guy and Glenn considers himself a good guy, which considering that Sephiroth goes and fights Wutai makes me think, hmm, uh, maybe Sephiroth is the bad guy and Glenn is gonna somehow come back or, or he's all he's always been there I I don't know I really don't know but we're gonna go I'm gonna show you guys the two trailers here and the other things that I'll show you from these are from the official rebirth trailers so this is the brand new one from today right so we'll check this guy out here uh there you are so this is the brand new one from today <laughs> wait don't misunderstand it's right after this you scene here way home. so when you're ready I'll be here an emissary from Wutai is here Sent by Viceroy Saru. With all this so, so we don't get to see the character, right? It's an emissary from Wu Tai. Um, sent by Viceroy Saruf. We don't know who Saruf is, right? Nobody we don't know who that is. So but the fact that he's from Wu Tai is kind of interesting, right? He still has the same belt thing. You can sort of see some of it here, down here. He's got that same belt thing going on. That, that we saw in the trailer with Glenn and the video with Glenn. But then we have, here's a little bit of a better shot, right? Here's a little bit better one. This is him looking, this is a guy with the same style goatee that we saw in this in the tra in the uh, video from the game, from Ever Crisis, with the same similar goatee. And this is it, his, this is in Junon, right? This is when they are uh, doing the parade in Junon. And you can see him back here watching Rufus. And obviously we saw in the trailer just now, he meets up with Rufus, right? We don't really know again who he is. I'm, I'm sure we're going to get, we'll find out at some point. He's barefooted. I can't really tell what that is. Maybe just some kind of scarf that's hanging down. Um, but they know each other somehow, which means there's, Rufus's reaction tells us he's surprised to see this guy, which leads me to believe that he somehow has this connection to either Sephiroth or Rufus or something, right? It's a, it's interesting. 
Um, the other thing is this is clearly in Junon, right? Because if you look in the back here, there's all the water. So that's the same guy that's going to be here. So at some point, he, he meets up with them. Now, the Viceroy from Wutai, that's the interesting part. What his connection is to Wutai, I don't know. But like I said, watching the video, it makes it seem like Glenn tries to be, become part of uh, a defense or some kind something for Wutai. And Sephiroth, uh, he ends up trying to fight Sephiroth to defend Wutai or something, right? Because that's when that time period is because there's no other time that, that Genesis is alive, right? Genesis should be dead outside of <laughs> the end of Dirge of Cerberus, which I'm pretty sure that's not from Dirge of Cerberus. Granted, I could always be wrong, but I highly doubt that. Um, and then, yeah, so there's, there's, it's just, it's kind of nutty. Um, that's really, they don't show too much else of him here, but you can see him walking away. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of an interesting thing. Yeah. So I'm not sure quite what's going on here, but yeah, it seems it seems very likely in some way that Glenn could very well be in Rebirth, which is uh, which is nuts, man. I mean, we're gonna find out, right? We're gonna find out in a couple weeks, but man, Glenn in Rebirth—that's pretty cool to bring something from Ever Crisis over. Which the only the only thing I think that's a little bit of unfortunate about that, if that is the case, is I think there's gonna be a lot of people who aren't aware of. Who the hell's Glenn, right? Um, so I hope I hope they do Glenn justice in the game for players that have no idea who he is. And I'm also hoping that this Thursday, the new story mode that's coming up, adds something to Glenn as well. So we'll find out what happens. Uh, yeah, but anyway, they, thanks guys for watching. Hit that sub button and like if you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this idea. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. So keep rocking, and I'll see you next time. Peace!